Welcome to this month's review of the True Potential portfolios. My name is Barney Hawkins. I'm the investment director here at True Potential, and I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about our flagship investment product, the True Potential portfolio range. First, let's start by discussing the performance of the portfolios. We'll then look at what are the key themes we're seeing from our fund manager partners, and finally discuss what changes have been made over the month. During August, the portfolios have produced some strong positive returns, with equity markets, particularly in Asia and emerging markets, driving performance. Looking further back, the true potential portfolios all show double-digit returns since inception, with investors clearly being rewarded for taking risk. Looking in depth at how the funds have performed, we've seen some strong returns from the true potential SEI and UBS fund ranges. SEI's exposure to Asian and emerging market equities boosted their performances, while the true potential UBS fund range continues to deliver healthy returns, a key driver being the currency fund, which sits within the UBS investments and which has consistently provided a good source of returns uncorrelated to equity markets. Moving on, as you know, we speak to our fund manager partners at least monthly, looking for key themes and tilting our portfolios towards those areas that offer the greatest potential. In general, our managers continue to be reasonably constructive with regard to market conditions. Those managers which invest in direct equities, so Threadneedle, Close Brothers and Goldman Sachs, remain fairly sanguine about markets and are still able to find attractive opportunities despite valuations generally being high. Discussions with our managers continue to focus on central bank monetary policy and the timing of any hike in interest rates or the reversal of quantitative easing. Our managers expect central banks to tread cautiously and don't necessarily see an upward move in rates as a catalyst for an equity market sell-off. While inflation may continue to edge up, the consensus is that it will not get as high as official forecasts, and so most of our managers are content to keep holding some exposure to bonds for portfolio protection and to generate a secure return. They recognize that stock market valuations are high by historic standards, but take heart from the knowledge that both retail and institutional investors retain substantial funds on deposit awaiting investment and they believe that any downward correction will be treated as a buying opportunity to invest some of the cash which is sitting on the sidelines. In terms of trading over the month, no changes were made to the positioning within the true potential portfolios. Discussions did take place around potential changes to allocations. However, the underlying fund managers have been repositioning themselves in a way that resonates with our current thinking on markets and so there was little need to compound the effect by making changes to fund allocations within the portfolios. Furthermore, last month we were fairly active in changing the allocations and so made the decision to let those changes bed in and to leave the weightings unchanged this month. 